Welcome. Uh, this is the third in our three-part series of quarantine workouts with me. Um, just a little background, I'm a personal trainer and a Pilates instructor. Um, I've been working for a lifetime fitness for about eight years and have more than 10 years of experience. So I'm just happy to share some tips with you guys today for some workout ideas that you can do at home with very little equipment, really no equipment um, necessary. So if you guys um, have a mat or a towel to roll out to make things more comfortable on the floor, that would be great. If you have a chair, um, I'll do a couple of exercises using that chair. Um, so feel free to grab those things now if you haven't already. Uh, and then we'll get started with some stretching. So um, just to, to get started, take your feet about shoulder width apart. And we're going to sink down into a deep squat, like a yogi squat. So going as low as you can. And just let your hips sink down. And for those of you who have creaky knees, feel free to keep the hips a little bit higher if you need to. We're just going to take five deep breaths in this position. And when you exhale, just let the weight of your body sink you down a little deeper into that stretch. Taking those deep breaths will tell your muscles that it's okay to relax, and you might find a little more range of motion. Now we're gonna lift the hips and come into a forward fold. So lifting the hips to straighten out the legs, and if they don't go all the way straight, that's totally fine. But in this position, we're getting a hamstring stretch. Let your head hang and shake out any tension from your neck. Couple of deep breaths, and then drop the hips again, sinking back down into that spot. So we're going to do three to five here, just alternating between that deep squat and the forward fold hamstring stretch. So a couple of deep breaths and then lift the hips back up to fold, release your head, shake it out, and then drop the hips back down again. So what you might notice is each one, you're going to feel a little more open, even just a little bit of daily stretching. I know a lot of us sit at a desk all day, hunched over a computer. So doing a little bit of that mobility makes a world of difference in how we feel. Last one. Release your head and then we're gonna roll up all the way. You can take your feet a little bit wider. Shoulder width or slightly outside. We're gonna do a circle sweep and this is a stretch too. Reach down so your hands reach towards one foot. Sweep across towards your other foot and then stand up so we've made a circle. And then we're going back down towards the other foot. Sweep it across and then stand. We're going to do eight alternating, reach to that foot, sweep it across, and stand it up. So each week we've added on to what we've done the previous week. Today I'm not going to recap all the exercises we've done. Um, so if you haven't been able to tune in for those, maybe check out the videos that I know have been posted. And today we'll change it up with a few extra new exercises for you. So hopefully everything feels a little bit looser. We're gonna sink down into that deep squat one more time and add a little bit of rotation from your torso. Put both hands on the floor on the inside of your knees, the elbows press out on the knees. We're gonna reach one arm up towards the ceiling, sky reachers. Take a deep breath in and out and feel that stretch across your back. And then put that hand down and switch arms. Take a deep breath in and let it go. And you have two more per side, starting to feel some opening, not just the hips and legs, but now the back as well. That's four and we have two more. And if it feels better to have your hips up a little higher, please feel free to make any adjustments that you need. And now we're gonna stand and turn to the side, coming down onto the floor onto one knee. Stretch that back knee back so that you're in this low lunge position with the, the knee resting. And we'll feel that stretch through the hip flexor right where your leg and your attach. Now we're going to rotate that, opening up that arm for the front leg towards the ceiling, and then dropping that elbow down towards the floor. We're going to do that three or four times on each side. Take a deep breath to open that up, taking a twist, and then drop that elbow down. Deep breath in, and out, and then we'll walk it over to the other side. So you can tuck the toes back under and flip it around the other way, switching which leg is in front. So we're reaching that back leg back, feel that stretch first at the front of the hip, and then drop the hand. We're gonna rotate open towards the knee and drop that elbow down. Each with a breath, in and out, will help you find a little more range of motion there. And down. All right, so hopefully we are a little bit more stretched out. 
So one of the things that we didn't get time for in the last couple is I want to do a core circuit with you. So come down onto the floor into a seated position. And we're going to start with some rollbacks. In Pilates, we call this move teaser. We're going to start with the knees together and the feet together. And just start by floating your arms up. So we're going to roll down by tucking the tailbone. Keep the knees squeezing together. Keep the feet pressing into the floor. We're going to roll down, touching the low back, the mid back, the upper back, until your head is resting. Take a deep breath in and use your exhale to lift the head and shoulders, peeling up, trying to keep your feet and knees together. Now, if that's hard and you might find without momentum, it's actually a pretty challenging move. You can also put your hands under your knees to give yourself some support. You want to find that rounding through the back, touch the low back, mid back, upper back. Once you're here, you can use your, your legs to help you to lift up. So we're gonna do a total of five here, that's two. You choose your variation, curling down one bone at a time. No momentum. As you come up, or if you need a little swing from the arms to help you, go for it. This is four. Use the breath to help you. And another way to make this harder, actually, is to bring the arms up before you roll that down. Much harder there. So second set, we're gonna take this to one leg. Extend one leg out, same thing. You can either support yourself walking down the legs or keep your arms up. We're gonna do five. Exhale to lift yourself up. Curling it down one bone at a time. Feel the waist pulling backward, the belly drawing in. Sitting tall, each one. Use that breath to help you, four. And one more. Hopefully everyone is feeling their abs start to wake up. Sit up nice and tall and switch feet. Zip the legs together, curl it down. The waist pulls back, the belly draws in. For five, curl it down. Four, curl it down. Three, two, use that breath, and one more. So if those exercises are pretty challenging, we did some core exercises in the first two parts of this series that are easier and that don't require that level of control. Now for a hard one. Sit up nice and tall. Keep the legs zipping together. You can find your balance with your feet on the floor first, extending both of the legs. Arms reaching. We're going to roll it down. Use your exhale to come all the way up. For five, curl it down. Use your exhale, four, three, use the breath, two, and last one, curl it down, exhale to come up, one, nice, flip it over onto your belly. So that whole series, the teaser series, that was a lot for the front side of the body, now we're going to work the back side of the body. First, just take your hands under your shoulders, let your legs rest. Draw your shoulders down and back to lengthen the spine and we're going to peel up and then come back down. This is a stretch, stretching out the abdominals if you just worked and also just a stretch for your back. This exercise for those of us who do spend the day at the computer, finding extension through the spine is really important because we spend all day curled over forward the other way. And then down. Come on down and rest your forehead on your hands and pick up your right leg, both legs strong and straight. Pick up your right leg as high as it goes, squeezing through the leg muscles. Use your butt and set that leg down. Left leg lift, squeeze, and set it down. That's two. We're going to 10. Lift and squeeze and down. Lift and squeeze and down. For five, six, seven, eight, pay attention to where you feel this. Let's do a couple more. Because as we're lifting that leg, we wanna be initiating the movement from the leg muscles and from your butt. Squeeze your glutes and lift, rather than lifting from your low back. So that may mean you don't come up as high, but get the knee straight, use your butt to lift. Last two, last one. We're gonna give the legs a break and work the upper back. Take your hands back under your shoulders. Your head can either rest down or float right above the mat. 
All we're gonna do is squeeze the shoulders back, squeeze, squeeze, and down. Lift to squeeze, and down. Three, and down. Just the shoulder blades squeezing back, feel the muscles right in the upper part of the back, not in the low back, that's why we're not peeling up high. Just the shoulder blades, squeeze them back. Six, and down. Seven, and down. Eight, little pulse, squeeze, squeeze, and down, last one. And down. Now we're gonna add a little bit of a lift with the upper body, same move, squeeze back, and peel your chest up. Come back down, arms come down. Squeeze it back, lift, and down. If you do start to feel this in your lower back, go back to the first one where you're not lifting the chest. Just keep the back long and squeeze the shoulder blades back. This should be starting to burn. And if it's not, give me a little more effort squeezing the shoulder blades back. Last four, and three, and two, and one. Now the arms are gonna shoot out up by your ears, thumbs up. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades back and down like we just did, lifting the right arm and the left leg and set it down. Left arm, right leg, set it down. Switch, switch, switch. Keep lifting from your glutes, meaning if you're feeling pressure in your lower back, come down a little more with your chest. Think about length in two directions, reaching your hands longer away from you and your legs longer away from you rather than how high you come up. Stretch the body in two directions. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest your forehead down, take a little break. Hopefully you've felt that on the back side of the body now. We're gonna tuck the toes under, bringing the hands back under the shoulders. One good push up, lifting your belly button first, bracing your abs, so that you press up in one piece. And we'll hold it there. I'm gonna give you some plank variations today. So that strong plank position. And if anyone has wrist issues, if you wanna do this from your elbows, you're welcome to. So our first variation is gonna be letting one knee bend at, the at a time to just barely touch the floor and come back. Let the other knee bend and come back up. So the hips aren't moving. The shoulders are staying strong. Everything's still except one knee, barely touching the floor at a time. We're gonna go to 10 here. You can always drop down to your knees and hold a plank there. You can also take a quick break and then come back and join us when you can. Second variation, we're gonna lift the left leg. Bring that left knee all the way to your left elbow and set it back down. We're gonna do 10. Lift the right leg, bring it all the way forward and back two. Three and back. Four and back. And notice I'm shifting my weight forward. Five, so that I can actually make contact knee to elbow. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Sink down onto your knees, send your hips back, reaching your arms as far away from you as you can. First set is done. Taking a couple deep breaths here in this resting position or child's pose. Walk your hands over to the right side of the mat so the hips still stretch back and you feel that length happening down the left side of your back. Feel that stretch, a couple of deep breaths. And then walk your hands over to the left and stretch the hips back. All right, second set, you're gonna come up. Two more exercises to go. Bring your left knee across to meet your right elbow and back. We have 10. Right knee to left elbow, nine. Keep alternating, see if you can, bring it all the way forward to touch. And your other option, you can always just hold a regular plank. The variations allow you to stay up longer usually because it's something to take your mind off of it and break it up. Four, and three, two, and one. Nice, let's take another break. In our last variation, we're gonna come up, bring the left foot forward and place that left foot down on the outside of the left hand. 
And if it doesn't want to go wherever you end up, if it doesn't make it all the way there, that's totally fine. We're going to bring it back, switch the right foot to the outside of the right hand and bring it back for 10. This is three and four. Getting some stretching in there as well. Five, six, feeling your shoulders, back muscles working, and obviously your abs. Last two. And on this last one, the right foot's outside the right hand. Put your weight into your legs and stand up. You can do this with your arms overhead to make it harder. Let's set the back foot in just a little bit so that when we go into our lunge series, we're gonna sink down, covering the back leg and standing right back up. We've done these every week now. Lower it down and press it up. When you come down in your lunge, you should have 90 degrees in the front knee 90 degrees in the back knee. So adjust that stance so that that's what we have. I mentioned this the last couple of weeks. If your knees don't like repetitive bending, you can come down and just hold. Or you have tension on your leg muscles. They're doing some work. And switch legs. Left foot forward, right foot back. A set of 10 coming down. Pressing back up. Two, and up. Arms overhead will make that a little more challenging. Might feel more of a stretch in the front of that hip. Also just work in the shoulders. Whichever you like, you can also just hold for the time that it takes us to do 10. Last four, and three, and two, and one. So now take your feet wide, and we're gonna sink, shifting the weight to one leg only. So one leg is straight and the other knee is bent. Five lunges, standing up all the way. Shift it to the other side. We'll do 10 here. And up. So one of the ways you can make these movements harder is to actually plant the foot and step into it rather than keeping the feet static, which I'll show you in a second. Same two moves. We'll add some variations in there. All right, last two, and last one. And here's a cat. So that forward lunge that we did, instead of just keeping the feet where they are, we're gonna step forward into the lunge and push back. Let's do 10. Alternate legs, three, four, five, six. Keep breathing, nine, 10. That side lunge, same thing. We'll start in the middle, step out to the side, shifting the weight into that outside leg bending the knee, push off to the center and go the other way. And don't step on a cat. Four and five. And I like to reach down towards the foot, feel a little more stretch that way. Last two and last one. One more leg exercise and then we're gonna give the legs a break. So last week we did this single leg squat, which you are welcome to keep this a two leg squat to the chair, sitting down and standing up. Your other option is stand on one leg, sit down on that one leg, and then switch. Pistol squats or single leg squats are one of my all time favorite exercises. You'll definitely feel these. Great exercise that works all of your leg muscles, including your glutes, which is good. If anybody has low back pain, strengthening the glutes is a great way to help alleviate that. Switch and switch. Four and three and two and one. Nicely done. All right, we're gonna go to arms. So last week we did a walk up to a push up, which is what we'll do today. Take a deep breath to stretch up tall. We're gonna do five 
sets. We're gonna do five sets with three push-ups each. Dive your hands over, reach for the floor. Lock your hands out into a push-up. We inhale to lower, exhale to push-up. Three, two, one. Walk your hands back in and stand it up. So some variations, if that doesn't feel good or it's too hard to walk your hands out like that, come down to the floor. You do push-ups from your knees this way. And if I'm bent at the hips, that's gonna make it a little easier. If you bring your hips into one straight line with your back, that's gonna make that knee push up a little harder. So challenge yourself wherever you are. Total of 15 push ups. Deep breath in, stretch up, dive it over, walk it out. Inhale to lower. Exhale to press up. Three, two, one, walk it in. Stand it up. Two sets down, three to go, walk it out. Inhale to lower, exhale, push up. The breath helps so much, so keep breathing. Set three, stand it up, two to go. Lower it down. You guys can see my cute dog, that's Bagheera. And one, walk it in, roll it up. Last one. Walk it out. Three push-ups here. Two. And one. And walk it in. We're back to our chair. We're gonna do a set of chair dips. So we'll take a seat first. I like my fingertips to face the front. Walk yourself off of the chair. Your hips are hovering. Bend knees is gonna make this easier. Straighten your legs to make it harder. Inhale to lower. Exhale to push up. 10, nine, eight. See if you can get your butt to touch the floor. Big range of motion. Make sure you're staying lifted up out of the shoulders. You have five to go. Four, three, two. Challenge yourself. And one, beautiful. All right, so we're gonna do side planks. We gave our planks a break. No, we're running a little short on time. So a couple more quick exercises and then we're out. Come back down on the floor and lie down on your side. So in our side plank, if you keep your knees bent and your knees on the floor and you lift your hips, you are working your obliques you're working the glutes on that bottom leg especially, but this is gonna be your easiest variation of the side plank. You wanna make this harder? Straighten up that top leg, and that foot can either be on the floor or hovering, and that makes it more challenging. And if you wanna come up with both feet on the floor or feet stacked, lifting the hips and the legs are straight. So here are some fun variations to make your side planks more interesting. One is a hip dip. I'm going to lower the hips to barely touch the floor and then lift them up. Lower, lift. Let's do five more. You can stagger your feet if you want. Makes it a little easier. Three, two, and one. Let's take a little break. A little side stretch here. You can press up if you want from that side now. A little stretch. And then we're coming right back to it. So if you were from the knees, same thing. This next variation, we're gonna call pick the apples. So you'll come up into your side plank, whatever variation works for you. That top arm, we're gonna reach it through taking a twist and then reach it back up. Do eight and open it up. Seven, shoulder working, obliques working. Legs strong. Last three. Are you feeling that? I hope so. You can't answer. And down. Take another little side stretch. Letting that whole side lengthen back out. And then switch. Side plank. Remember our variations. Bent knees. Straighten the top leg. Sort of the medium level. 
or both legs straight. We'll come up. Imagine that you're sandwiched between two walls. So we don't want your butt sticking out to the back. You want to be straight, strong, as if you were just standing up. Lower end of the hips. Use that breath to help you. The first day, actually the first and second classes that we did, we talked a lot about how to use the breath to get into your abs, to really get that support and good brace. So be sure and check those out if you haven't. Pick the apple, we reach through, open it up. So um, we don't have time for it today, but don't forget about your ice skaters, your burpees, you can use that chair to do step ups. Lots of ways you can get your heart rate elevated, even in this quarantine lockdown period. Take a side stretch, take a breath. So we're gonna finish with a couple of stretches. Find a comfortable seated position, cross leg or you can sit with your legs out. We're gonna stretch your neck, all that shoulder work. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. So three variations of this little neck stretch. If you're already feeling that, you can stay right there. You wanna gently rest your hand on your head to give just a, a little more pressure, a little more stretch. Deep breath. Same side, but now we're gonna turn the head, looking down as if you had a shirt pocket. Look down towards your shirt pocket or your armpit so that your head is dropping forward slightly. And then gently give that a pull. And that should feel really nice. I know a lot of us suffer with some neck tightness. Back to the center, drop your right ear back to your right shoulder. Now we're gonna to turn to look up. Slight variation, now you're gonna feel that a little more on the front part of the neck here. Gentle pressure. If you want to add a little more stretch, just be gentle. Back up to the center. Do the other side. Left ear to the left shoulder. So um, I know this has been really disruptive to everybody's exercise routine, but I just want to encourage you to stay, um, stay with it. Anything you do is better than nothing. So even today, you know, we got 20, 25 minutes in. Something like that, a little bit of stretching every day, get outside. Um, it'll make your transition back to your full routine go much smoother. Looking down towards the shirt pocket, gently pull that head, pull your head forward. So that stretch from the back of the neck. And that last one, left ear to the left shoulder, now looking up and gently adding a little bit of extra stretch if you want. Back the center and all your shoulders. Thank you guys so much for your time. I think that is all we've got time for today. But um, if you guys have questions for me, I'm happy to be of service. So um, you can email me with any questions that you have about fitness, nutrition, anything at the moment. Um, I'm also on Instagram, my full name, which um, the spelling is up on the screen again, L-E-A-H. G-I-B-I-A-N. So if you are on Instagram, feel free to message me there. Um, but stay positive, stay with it, and thanks for your time.